game developers, it's Monday, September 14th, and Kev Does YouTube writes, Do I win anything for becoming your 10th subscriber? That's a really good question, Kev Does YouTube. Congratulations, you win a shout out from someone with a 10th of your subscriber count. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for daily game industry news. Kev Does YouTube has some really great comedy content, and honestly, I just want to see more of it. So go ahead, check out my favorite video of his. It's called The Founder's Experience. And now, the news. So last week, the CEO of Ubisoft said that he's sorry for the years of sexual harassment, sexual assault, abuse, racism, homophobia, and general toxicity that he enabled in the workplace at Ubisoft. I mean, he didn't actually take any responsibility for that, uh, but he said he was sorry that other people were bad. He also didn't admit to any wrongdoing or even really say what it was he was apologizing for. He referred to the years of sexual harassment, assault, abuse, racism, etc., uh, including cover-ups, as internal issues that have come to light recently. And he claimed that certain Ubisoft employees didn't uphold our company's values. Uh, so I shouldn't need to tell you this. That was a terrible apology. He didn't really apologize for anything. Uh, but this is also what we in education would call a teachable moment. So what I want to talk about today is what you can learn from this. Uh, so the values on a company's website are usually an aspiration. Uh, the way people treat each other every day in the workplace reveals the company's real values. So if a company protects abusers and silences victims, then that company culture values the abusers more than it values the victims. So you should figure out before you even get a job at a studio whether or not that's really a company you want to work for. Uh, so when you get to the end of that first interview for a game development job, the interviewer will ask you if you have any questions for them. And this is actually your chance to interview them and decide whether or not you want to select this company as your employer. And there are a ton of questions you should be asking. Um, I'm going to give you some examples of a few. What are the company values? So if the interviewer says they don't know or they say the values are on the website, that's bad. That means that either the company doesn't really have values or the employees don't really care about the values. Those values aren't really meaningful to the employees. Who is responsible for the company culture here? Everyone is responsible and leadership should be accountable for the company's culture. If the interviewer tells you that they have a person in HR that is in charge of that, that's actually a red flag. It, it's a sign that leadership isn't really held accountable for the culture. They've outsourced that to someone that works in human resources. I've heard horror stories from current and former Ubisoft employees. How do you resolve a conflict where one employee has accused another employee of sexual harassment? And what does the studio do to ensure that the same things that happened at Ubisoft don't happen here? If your interviewer doesn't know the answer to this question, that's a sign that they don't have a policy in place to handle this kind of situation. And if your interviewer is someone who works in human resources, that is a huge red flag. They should know this policy forwards and backwards. There are a ton of questions that you should be asking, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, check the links below to learn some more about the kind of questions that you should ask during your interview to see if this is the kind of company that you really want to work for. So if the studio fails your interview, you could just walk away, find a better studio to work for. This is a competitive industry, but don't feel like you have to accept the first offer you receive from a game studio in order to break into the industry. Uh, if you've discovered through the course of your interview that this is a terrible place to work for, don't work for them.
And if you're thinking of applying to Ubisoft, I would actually advise against it right now. A few resignations won't fix the studio's toxic culture. The actions that they're taking right now just really aren't enough to change something that has been going on for this many years. Now, my advice might change in the future. They might start doing a better job of supporting their employees. Uh, but for the time being, I would avoid that. If you hate your boss or hate your job, then just get the hell out of there. Find a new job. Find a new boss. I guarantee you that you'll be able to find another place in the game industry where you won't be miserable or you won't dread going into work every day. Uh, don't feel like you have to stick around to try and change the company from within. Uh, don't stick around in solidarity with your fellow co-workers. Everyone at that point should be jumping ship to somewhere that is going to treat them the way they deserve to be treated. And if you're currently working at Ubisoft, now is your chance to bail out. No studio worth working for will judge you for leaving a company after you've discovered that they've covered up sexual harassment complaints for years. That would actually show me that you're the kind of developer that I want to work at my studio. You are the kind of person I want to hire. If your boss is asking you to break laws or to cover up abuse, don't. The Nuremberg defense will not protect you. If you don't know what the Nuremberg defense is, that's the idea that it's not your fault because you were just following orders. You will take the fall for your actions and your boss will keep their job. And then they will offer a public apology that a certain employee didn't uphold the company's values. And this time, you'll be that employee.